What's up, YouTube us? Working on some frickin' U joints today. Uh, I did one. I want to show you how to do same thing, but it's on the back. But the frickin' guy that did these, uh, um, beat. He beat down on these. So you can see how these are smashed. See how that's smashed right there? On this side, what are you smash? He beat the shit out of him trying to get him in there instead of cleaning out the slots, you know, and doing everything right. Crushed them so bad when I took it apart, I had to uh, fire up the Dremel and use a couple little different and Dremel the insides of those back out because they were smashed. I couldn't get the goddamn keyways back in so anyway I think I uh I got this one done now I'm going to show you how to do the other one do me make note of that take the u-joint that holds the outside piece off first Look at that, it's moving. Just make sure, like I said, when you have a device, that your cap's not hitting the vice too. Or you'd be basing and you're banging for nothing. There it is. Bam! And the cap goes flying. Pick that up so I don't get it again there's the yoke uh, or the bottom back half out with a cap now we gotta tap these babies out again <laughs> which shouldn't be a big deal Bam. Oh, that's how it should have came out the first time. Huh. No, never. Not something. And that's something. Come on. Fucking peckerwood. Oh my god. That guy screwed this. You joint job up so freaking bad back in the day. It's only been about a year. And these fuckers are shot. They were burned out. Now, now that we have it all apart, here's what I like to do. I don't care about the outsides, but I'm going to clean these up. You know, the inside. Clean the insides of these up and the insides of the drive shaft. These are all beat to shit from that guy too. But after I get them both sides cleaned up, I have to take some emery cloth. Sand these. They get rusty. Anything you can do to make these little things slide back in easier, that's what you want to do. <laughs> So they get they got to bang them back in and put the clips in have enough room i got a feeling i'm gonna have to dremel on these too because he smashed the shit out of them so get both of those cleaned up just takes a couple minutes believe me it's gonna save some pain in the ass beating if these weren't all banged up, smashed from last time, this job wouldn't be so bad. But he really trashed them. That was kind of a waste of money, I guess. And wipe them out good again.
then got them both halfway cleaned out. Then I take a little screwdriver and a flashlight and I go in here and I scrape out any shit that's in these little bevels. Clean them out good. Where's my parts guy? Got these damn, uh... Anyway, so... Um, I like these carb cleaner. Spray them out. You don't have to do that, but... I try to be kind of anal about this stuff. This is my plow truck, you know? So I really don't want any frickin' problems. If I can help. Helps clean it up too, so. Burn up a little bit of carb cleaner. Gonna hurt nothing. It, it can evaporate too, but just so I can get going on these right away, I'm gonna do this. But I just wondering if I should dremel them fucking holes or try them. Man, it took me two hours to get those other ones to fit. I didn't want to spend a million dollars on fucking new drive shaft or whatever, but another thing I like to do is regular old grease to take that and put just a little bit inside of the where the caps are gonna slide. Just a little bit, you know, you don't need to fill up that line in there with it, you know. This just helps it. Again, like I said. Anything you do to make these fuckers slide together, you want to do it, believe me. And I just wipe off the axis on the outside and the inside. Look at that. kits anyway but all right so we got the new u-joint you got your uh, grease Xerxes make sure when you put this on you put the Xerxes where the hole goes here make sure it's pointed out see it's right there so I'm pointing it out if I did it this way see how that would be pointed in so I remembered that. So make sure it's pointed out. Wherever it doesn't matter. This is all universal, but I'll put it somewhere I can get at it. Then you might as well just take these caps off. Carefully. Look when you pull them off, make sure you don't roll any bearings off sideways. Because if you put that back on, smash it down with a rolled bearing, it's gonna be a pain in the ass. Trust me. Put the U-joint in there. Get one of them up here started. Okay, push it in so you know you didn't roll a roll it. Keep holding up on that. Spin it around. I was holding on the U-joint so it don't uh, fall out of that spot. But it's, uh, this is flat right here, so. If I'm lucky, maybe I can tap this and it'll uh, come down some. See if we can get the top one in without rolling it. Lift it out of that other side a little bit and get this down in there. See you're sliding back and forth. I hope the lighting's okay there. See I can slide that back and forth. I got it like half in one, half in the other. 
just to make sure I don't roll a, you know, roll one of them goddamn bearings. That can be a pain in the ass too. Now she won't fall out, so we'll forget about your Xerxes. But get that flat, get that in, tap that down. Now she's make your socket that fits again. Tap this just down past the, the bevel where you put your clip in. See, it's just past where that bevel is right there. Now we're going to find out if that goddamn thing is smashed. I'm assuming it is because he fucking did all the other ones. Kind of irritating to pay for something and then have to redo it yourself anyway, you know. Stick one end of the clip down in there. Take your needle nose again, push your other finger down there and get that clip to go in there. That should be sufficient. Then I take a little bitty flat punch and I just go around and tap a little bit, make sure she's in there. Then you won't flip it over. Tap this one down. Use your socket again. Hopefully it goes down far enough where you can put the clip in and you're done. Fuck no. That's what I was talking about, about these being smashed. Now we're going to see if it'll, if the clip don't fit. And I got to start freaking dremeling shit on this one too. It sucks. But in a way, I'm kind of glad because you can now you can see the goddamn headaches that you can have when somebody installs U joints that maybe shouldn't be doing it. I don't know. I don't know if that's gonna do it or not. I think it's gonna be tight. She's loose right now, but once I start tapping this in. And putting pressure on it. Oh, there it popped in. That's a good sign. Oh my gosh. See, it should just be. Should just be this easy. This is exactly how it should go. But, at least she's a little snug. loosening up. The only thing you can do is tap down on one side or the other. You really want this to be spinning nice, you know, turning fairly free. Try to tap on one side. It feels like that tightened up just a little. So we'll do it to the other side. It's not terribly bad, but you really would like those to be just nice and free, you know. Not too much friction. Ooh. Oh, that's definitely the wrong way. I think I might have to be doing some dremeling. Ah, God damn, that's close. It's still snug though. Okay. Well, like I said, just as well. I'll show you what I'm talking about with this Dremel crap anyway. So I already got her set up. Just a little tipped Dremel. Bevel that hole out a little. A bad spot. You hit a bad spot where it's smashed. That's what I'll do. Just like that. 
hopefully it will uh, take care of the problem. Again, clean it out, spray it out, blow it out, whatever, whatever you want to do. Then reinsert clip. Let's see what it did. That side seems to go in good. Yeah. Snapped in nice. I like that when it just snaps right in. Sorry, uh, making this video so damn long. I was just, was hoping it'd be a nice, easy little you joint put in thing and we'd be done but she's still tight careful when you're doing this not to hit your stuff you know Man, that's so close. I might have to leave it because I don't unless I want to take the other the other side off and uh, drum all that side too. So I had to do it to everything on that other side. Oh, look at that one tap. It's tighter than shit. And none of this would be happening if those weren't smashed. It's kind of, like I said, it's kind of like why I wanted to make the video, but it really does suck to have to sit and do this. Uh, mother. Oh, which fucking side did I do? <laughs> I think it was this side, that other side though. Find out here real quick. See how that doesn't want to come out? It's still really tight in there. And it should be tightened to a certain extent, but not uh, not this so tight that it, it jams the uh, jams it when we uh, put it back together, you know. Okay, so let's do a little Dremel, I do a little Dremel, I do the drum of Dremel. You want to get in there and be too aggressive, you know, where it's sloppy, you know what I mean? You just want a nice, easy flow turn on these. You don't want to don't want it so goddamn tight that you know the U joint don't move like is what's been doing to me. So I really like it when you do this and they just pop in. If they don't, uh, you might be in trouble being tight, you know. So a nice little tap can take care of it, but I'm not uh, putting this back together until it's right. You know, she's stiff. Just a little bit still. I think I can live with that for now. Okay. Ah. Pretty much the same procedure here. Take your yolkster. Put it in there. Lock so. Take a cap. Check. Make sure you're not rolled a bearing. Slide that in there. I said sometimes you can tap these down a little bit 
right here. You know, as long as you know you got the, the U joint up into it. You just want to be careful, like I said, not to roll a bearing, that's all. Before you tap them both completely in and put the clips in, check it. You know, roll a roll it back and forth, see how it feels, you know. Once you get them both tapped down that far, obviously, see how nice it is? Obviously it's not going to uh roll the bearing anymore. This looks like it's going to give me a problem. Just go in and work right. I may have to plow tonight, that's why I was doing this. Yeah, might be a little tight when I get the other one done. But it looks good. That one looks good. Maybe, maybe it's going to work. Well, whenever you put it down in there to start and the corner goes all the way in, that's a good sign. <laughs> like I said, you joints are a pain in the ass, but they're not usually this goddamn bad. So next time I change them, my uh, slots are all drilled out now. It, uh, pissed me off, you know. Especially when I have to redo this and redo this and redo this. Uh, that way it feels... You know, I'm going to put the Xerxes in, and we'll grease it, and then we'll move it around some more, and... Shoot the juice to me, Bruce. Pump it to me, Louie. Sometimes just tapping a little here and there can take care of a lot of this. That way is really good. This way is still just a little bit tight. goddamn perfectionist in me that won't let me do shit bad you know just suck a practice 
I'm in lawn service business and I uh oh that did it that did her I gotta nice smooth this way it might be a little bit sticky but it'll uh it'll wear in you know let's try one more tip <laughs> Everybody's anal as I am. And my father passed away December 26th, or December 25th, my birthday. And he was a mechanic for 50 years. He always told me it didn't matter if you were sweeping a floor or building an airplane. You do the best job you can do. There we go. I can live with that. So, there we go. Nice, I like it. One more glance, just to make sure all them clips look like they're still in place. Good. You definitely don't want a fucking clip coming off or a U joint falling off. Nope, they all look good. So that's pretty much how you do U joints. Like I said, I'm sorry it took so long. Uh, I'll edit a lot of this out now, but I wanted you to see what a pain in the ass it could be if somebody beats the hell out of these things, changing them, just flattens them. Look at that. Flat spots, and it just smashes that cone down. It just makes it so hard to get them fuckers into bevels, you know. Uh, but anyway, that's how you do the U-joints. Bob's Lawn Service and Plowing. I'm out.